Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and today we're gonna to be talking about where I am on my crafty goals for 2021. I just filmed the clip for my Q2 paper, paper crafting empties that'll go in at the end of this and I did forget to post quarter one's update, so that will be on the end of this, then quarter two, and then I'll do our wrap up at the end. But, um, so I don't know how these are going out or anything else, but before you look at my nails and think I'm like a horrible Sagathor, I was trying to get my gel polish off by using gel polish remover and it didn't work. So I've already spent like two hours trying to get this polish off. Um, my acetone nail polish remover is not strong enough to eat away at gel polish. It's a very low acetone polish remover. I don't know where my husband's acetone is that he used. It's a it, salon strength um, and he uses it for model building, but I'm not sure where that is in the garage. So I can't go get that and just soak it off with that. So we're rolling with it because I'm already behind on getting things filmed and updated for the last couple of days and I really need to get these done. Otherwise, I'm just not going to have anything for a whole week. <laughs> Anywho. So, I've got my notebook of craftiness for this year here. And right here on the front, I have my goals. So, you can see where we've highlighted some things that have been completed. And I do have my Bourbon Creek Crafts thing that... I, I couldn't keep up. It wasn't going to happen. So first goal is to work through 75 pounds of finished objects. So far I'm at 44 pounds. So I'm really not slouching off this year. I'm almost done with one blanket. I still have two full size blankets that I know I'm going to get done because I have the yarn for them. I know they're going to get done. And I have some other things that are like the Halloween cards. They're not done yet, but they're going to be substantial by the end of this. The next one was 400 cards made. So I am at 233 cards so far. That doesn't include the Halloween cards or the fall cards I've been working on, which I'm not sure if I've even shared or talked about yet. Mm -hmm. um, but because I haven't done any embellishing on those yet, I haven't finished putting those together. The only embellishments are what came out of the paper pack for the Halloween cards. I haven't weighed them or if it done a final count, but I do know there's over a hundred cards there. So I think it was 125 that I got out of that paper pack. So, I mean, I'm going to be hitting that goal because I haven't even done any of this year's Christmas cards yet. So that one will be done. And when you see my, my paper crafting empties for Q2, you'll understand like why the embellishing thing is such a big deal because like I haven't used any of the washi tape or stickers or glue dots or glitter dots or anything like that on there. It's just been the paper part. So, like, I still have stamping and embellishing left to do on the Halloween cards, which will lead to a lot more empties like we had in Q1, but more. <laughs> but a lot more. I crossed off the following Bourbon Creek Crafts thing. I really wanted to do it, but I just don't haven't spent enough time down here this year to even do an update, much less trying to keep up with the collab. I have not continued working on covering my Dollar Tree notepads, though I have covered 50% of what I had. So I did make quite a bit of progress on that one already. Finishing 20 rolls of washi tape. I'm not sure how many I used in Q1, but that's all I've gotten used up so far. Work into 2,500 grams of sock yarn. So far I have worked into 900 grams. So I'm doing really, really well on that. Um, I just finished my fingering weight shawl and that used five hanks. So plus, you know, like I'm doing the yarnable subscription box, so I'm, I'm getting it in there too. Working through your bulky yarn stash. So I am making progress on this. I have done a couple bulky weight shawls recently. I don't think I've shared, but one of those, um, but I am making progress. There's not really a hole you can see yet, but things are not quite as tightly packed in there. Uh, I had already done the Jada 2019 blanket. I, I'm just going to donate that as it is. I have not picked up my peppermint blanket. 
Uh, of the 10 blankets that were on my goal, I have completed three and I have three started. I may actually have four completed. I have a granny, a star, a gift. No, I've only completed three, yeah. So I've got three completed, three that are started. I have a granny square blanket started. I have the hexagon blanket for myself started. And I have the Christmas blanket that I shared in my Yarn Bingo video, which should have been up on Thursday, and this should be going up on Saturday. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six people I wanted to get blankets for this year. I have one completed, one started, the yarn for two on deck. Uh, the next goal is a completed one. I used 20 cakes of mandala or cupcake yarn. Use, donate, or gift my red heart and impeccable. So I'm making vast efforts in that. I actually have quite a bit of room showing in my uh, red heart impeccable cubes. I, I'm feeling pretty accomplished with what I have done so far with that one. Make five shawls for donating. Completed that one already. Donate 25 hats. I have not made any hats for donation this year. Well, I've, I've made a couple for donation. I haven't donated any yet. Finish your frog all of 2020's whips. When I frogged... Oh, man. Ow! <laughs> it's a really good thing you can't see the undignified things I do when I bend over. Mm. When I frogged these socks and restarted them, that made me meet that goal. All of my whips from 2020 have now been frogged or completed. And I just counted that as completion because I just frogged it and restarted it immediately. I wanted to make one sweater. So far this year, I've made three. Use enough yarn to put holiday paper pads on my Calyx unit. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, when I set up my yarn budget for this year, it was very generous, very, very generous. And my husband has insisted on two different shopping trips for higher end yarns that were not planned. And, uh, I don't think I'm going to make quite enough room for that. Don't think that's going to happen, but I do have plans to rearrange my desk area here in the next couple of weeks. I've been slowly doing some smaller organization projects. Now I'm to the point where I think I'm ready to start redoing some furniture arranging in here. So uh, with that, will come some other places where I could put the holiday paper pads in a more obvious storage area to go with how I use them. Uh, my starting yarn band budget was $246 based on how much yarn I used last year. As the year progresses, I can add more based on what I finish using. So right now, my yarn budget stands at $125.95. That takes us all the way through the Knit Picks Fingering and Lace Weight Sale. I did not purchase anything on the Worsted Weight Sale as of yet. Um, this month I added $18.95. Next month I'm probably going to be adding closer to $50 based on where I'm sitting on like blankets and stuff like that that I'm working on. Um, and that's $1 for every 100 grams of yarn I use. I mean, there's quite a bit that goes into these, uh, 54 by 70 blankets. So yeah, I will be adding a substantial amount here in the next week. I know that. Projects I wanted to make, I had the five Christmas blankets. One of those is completed, one started, one's on deck. Uh, I did start my architecture shawl scarf, but I have somehow messed it up, so I need to frog it and start it again. I have not gone back to make the greeny pocket shawl that I wanted to make. I have not started my Road to Nowhere shawl yet. I have not done my purple sock head hat set. I did do the fingering weight held together hat and cowl at the beginning of the year, but I have not done the matching fingerless gloves yet. So I have lots of things still left to go that were on my goals list, but I've made a substantial amount of progress. I'm really, really not angry with that so far. Uh, as far as journey crafts go, I have 66 finished objects so far this year. I have 12 in the others category. I've used 
18,867 grams of yarn. So right now my starting yarn budget for next year is $188 already. I feel like I'm not getting stuff done and then I look at what I have gotten done and I'm like, so I've actually completed, it was 41 pounds and yarn of finished objects so far. And that's uh, 47,940 yards. So, I mean, I've done quite a bit. And then I have made seven hats, 25 shawls, three blankets, 10 scarves, three pairs of socks. I've used 24 cakes of mandala or cupcake. Um, I'd originally started counting the bulky yarn, but I know I used another eight that I haven't added in here yet. But so I'm at like... 18 skeins of bulky yarn out of my stash and I've worked into nine hanks of fingering weight or 100 gram sets of fingering weight yarn. So I'm really not displeased <laughs> when I look at the goals I set for myself for this year and where I am. Now just a reminder, these goals are not carry must do, carry disappointed if not finished. These are just things to keep me engaged mindfully in how I'm crafting, how I'm purchasing, what I'm planning on doing. It helps me to remember like what I really wanted to do or what I had set out to do. If I don't do something, that's fine. Like this isn't, I mean, aside from the Christmas blankets, like I'd really like to get those first four done for the kinders in my life. Um, like if I don't finish something on the list, like that's okay. There, This isn't a I'm a bad person if I don't do something. It, it's fine. I just want to be mindful when I'm crafting as well as enjoying myself. So I'm allowing myself to just enjoy what I'm doing and go for it from there. So yeah, I uh, can't really complain with the progress that I've made. I'm rather pleased with what I have done. I feel accomplished looking at my list of things. And that's one of the reasons why I do track so much. I track my weight. I track my yardage. I track the number of finished objects for the year. Not to mention in the, the middle section here, you know, I track, you know, the project itself and it, with its data and information. I like seeing what I have done, where I have been this year, being able to go back to things. I really need to get my pictures printed and stuck in here. But that's a project for a rainy day when I know what's going on for more than an hour at a time. <laughs> um, it's it, 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 this week's been a little, little wonka do. Uh, but yeah, I, I I really am happy with where I am. I do have uh, some things I I'm thinking about adding to the list for next year, like doing the finishing work on certain things, like putting buttons on stuff. I have a bunch of stuff that needs buttons sewn on and I still haven't done it. Uh, I do have a sweater on deck. I want to do another campfire cardi. I'd originally pulled out some purples and pinks, but now I'm thinking I want to use this color and this color with a cream or a white. I'd originally bought this on clearance to do a blanket, but now I kind of want a sweater out of them. And I think with that one, I would do the hood, just like a little springtime, toss it on. Yeah, that's where my brain is right now. Uh, I've got a lot of things where I'm like really super excited about starting them, but haven't started them yet. I'm really wanting to get started on them. And that's kind of part of my problem too is I have a bad case of starteritis. I generally do. That's why frequently like I'll have nothing to share and then I have 80 bajillion projects to share because I will just not work on things for a month or two or like I'll work on a bunch of things, you know, two stitches at a time. So that's just my process. That's how I work. There, there are projects all over my house, top to bottom. Every room has a project in it basically. So anyway... I'm going to stop rambling on. Uh, actually, I'm not. So I'm going to be inserting the clip of my quarter one paper crafting empties, then my quarter two paper crafting empties. There's going to, excuse me, be a really awkward ending at the end of that just because I'm going to end the video here, but I did want to add those clips in now. 
like I said, the quarter two paper crafting uh, empties, you'll understand why I'm like, that happened. Anyway, you guys, so I hope you enjoy seeing what I did get out of my paper crafting stash and used up. Hopefully here in the next quarter, we'll have a lot more of the washi tape, stickers, rub-ons, decals, things like that coming out of my stash because they'll be getting used on finishing up the fall cards, the Halloween cards. Uh, I do have a batch of cards that I will hopefully be sending out here shortly to some family and friends. <sighs> so much to do. So much to do. Anyway, guys. I love you. Please take care of yourself. Enjoy seeing what I used up so far this year for paper crafting, and I will catch up with you guys real soon. Bye, guys. Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I emptied in my paper crafting for the first quarter of 2021. So, I've been sharing with you guys like kind of my empties just because I find emptying things out to be a very exhilarating kind of thing. I don't know why. So let's start making heads or tails out of this. I probably, probably should have done this, you know, before I click, you know, start on filming. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, and it is what it is. So, oh, well, I'd forgotten about some of this stuff. This is kind of fun. All right. First off out of the box, I finished off, make sure these are all the same thing. All of these planner stickers. Now, there are a couple stickers left on there, but they're stickers I'm never going to use, and the sheets are not worth saving or donating. I'm going to go ahead and just chuck the last, like, 10 stickers that are on these. Some of these got cut to fit my needs. Some of these have been in my stash now. I don't, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not one of those um, pretty planner people. I, I use my planner to literally do what I need it to do. I need it to tell me what I'm supposed to do that day. Um... So I get a lot of like these that come in my planner that I get every year. And then I got gifted a whole bunch of these. Uh, they're from Recollections. They're really, really cute and stuff, but they're just there to decorate your planner. So I did use a bunch of these. These actually one year had seven dots and one year had 10 dots on it for some reason. But uh, I've cut the, the the 10 down so I had seven and I'm using them to mark you know days I work out and things like that but that's a huge stack of sticker sheets then I've got one two three four five six seven packages of stickers from my stash that I went through I've got well this doesn't tell you what collection it's from or maybe it doesn't I just can't read it on there I'm not sure what these were. These were some, oh, they're Easter stickers. These are both Easter stickers. These were uh, 72 enamel dots. And then these are Christmas stickers. Let's see, furry and bright, 12 days of Christmas, furry and bright, furry and bright. So these are the ones that I used for those, uh, the cards that were sitting in my stash for so long that were 98% done and never finished. I also finished off because of that, four six by six pads. I made 26 cards or finished off 26 cards out of the furry and bright with woodlands between the two pads I had for the woodlands at Hobby Lobby. I finished off 96 cards out of these and out of rustic Noel, I did 46 cards and all of those will be donated. Those are donation cards. And finishing those off, that's where a lot of this came from. These are Coordination's Craft Smooth A2 cards and envelopes. They were 50 each, and I did one, two, three. Okay, so I have 150 cards worth of the pre-made card bases and envelopes. 
I mentioned before, like I had bought a whole bunch of white off-white card bases in these packs, but for A2 cards, it's actually cheaper and not really hard to make your own card bases. And it's a lot cheaper to buy the envelopes just in a huge, I think I get my envelopes, like a thousand white envelopes, A2 sized envelopes for like $30 on Amazon generally. But now A7, I tend to buy because A7, you can only get one A7 card out of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. But I used four packages of these. Let's see, we've got ivory, 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 ivory. So these are 25 cards <coughs> each. So 200 A7 size cards and ivory got used up out of my stash. I used the pastel cardstock pack. I used an entire one of these. This is from the Paper Studio. This was heavyweight. I used this to make some card bases from scratch. And I also used up an entire pack of 50 sheets of Coordination Premium white, Great White cardstock. This is what I use to stamp my um, messages on the inside of cards. I use this a lot because I can get it on sale for really cheap. I was getting this at Joann's. Now, since we moved to Charlotte... I have not been to Joann's in person very, I think I've only been in the store twice now. It's just because it's, it takes me like 20 minutes with traffic to get over there and I'm kind of lazy. Might take me more than 20 minutes actually to get over there. Hobby Lobby, I'm normally halfway there. That's also 20 minutes away from me, but I'm normally halfway there already because I go after I go to the post office and the post office is on the way. But there is a Hobby Lobby right near our Costco over in Matthews. And I have been in that one now, too. As long as I don't go to Costco on Sunday morning, I can go by Hobby Lobby, too. Next up, I went through... I love how you're looking at the top of my head here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rolls of ATG. Like I've said before... Uh, this is, you know, I enjoy seeing how much I've used and gone through, but this isn't a supply that I'm trying to get out of my stash or use up. It's something that is a reoccurring need. I am trying the HEG rolls from Tape Jungle right now. I'll let you guys know at some point how I feel about it. Uh, I haven't used it long enough to really have a finite opinion but I do know that a couple of people like Call Me Crafty Owl, Bourbon Creek Crafts. Oh who was I watching the other day was talking about was it Jess Crafts was talking about having used the Tape Jungle ATG. It is substantially cheaper. You do I, I bought a half a thing instead of the whole like gross package so I didn't get the best discount on it but I did get a good discount on it by buying it in such a big package. But I went through nine rolls, having not really made a whole lot of cards so far in the first quarter. I mean, I finished cards. I had card tops done, but all I need, I didn't use a whole lot of ATG to finish those cards off. I used a lot of wet glue and I still went through nine rolls. So getting it at a discount is kind of a good thing for me. And then I also finished one, two, three, four, five, six seven rolls of washi tape. My goal this year was to finish off 20 rolls of washi tape. So I'm well on my way to reaching my goal there. Now, some of these were used in finishing or uh, making my craft journal for 2021 because I lined the pages with washi tape to help make it all pretty. I did finally between drying up and using finish off an ink pad, which is the first time I have had an ink pad show up in one of these. Uh, it is, it still feels like it's wet, but there's just nothing coming out. I was not getting any payoff anymore with it. I use this for trying to break up stuff on the edges, um, ink the edges on pieces on cards. That's, that's kind of what I use this for. I prefer the chalk look keep getting really cool shine but I guess Studio G is Joann's and I've had this for a long time uh, it says it's from the production date on it says nine 
by 2011. So I've gotten a lot of use out of this over the years. I've also used this with um, some of the decoupage projects I've done over the years. So I'll be honest, like the blue one just dried up, but this one definitely got my money's worth because I'm pretty sure I got that on a clearance. The other things I used up were two rolls of Scotch double-sided tape. I don't like using this. I prefer using the ATG. I, I find that this tape is very unwieldy. It gets dirty very easily because it's not backed on one side. So both sides of the tape are perpetually exposed. So I really don't enjoy using this. I wanted to just not have this anymore. So I did use these up. I think there might be one more roll somewhere in my stash, but that's it. I was worried there for a while I was going to end up, because so much of this was used in January, I was worried I was going to end up needing a bigger bucket. I just planned on using this tray this year, but luckily I ended up, or unluckily, not doing as much paper crafting so far this quarter, but that's where we ended up. So, I mean, and that's not a shabby amount of empties. I'm really glad that these will no longer be taking up room or... I can try like a different brand. I think I've got three more packs of this left in my stash in white. So, and this is the uh, 65 pound cardstock. So it's not the heavy stuff. I do have some of the Recollections brand similar cardstock. Now that does go on sale pretty cheap. So, but that's where we are for my paper crafting empty so far for. 2021. I am filming this just a little bit early, but I don't think I'm going to have the finished objects uh, or, or empties ready to show uh, the, at this point before the end of the month. So we do have another week left in March, but I just don't think I'm, I'm going to have that many more empties. And if I do, I'll just share them with quarter two as empties. So anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I love you guys, and I will see y'all real soon. Bye, guys. Alrighty, you guys. So here's quarter two's empties for paper crafting. They really weren't that exciting because I didn't get to embellishing anything. But I have two, four, seven rolls of ATG tape. And one paper pad. That's all I got done with. So, looks like uh, Q1, Q2 will be going at the end of my uh, quarter updates. See you in a bit.